all right let's uh, now discuss the last concept of this chapter which is uh, graph attention network right g a it's also called g a t or whatever g a g a n is not an right terminology because uh, we have generative adversarial network which is also abbreviated as g a n so g a t is the right term okay so what is attention i will not explain what is attention but i think it has already been explained by my ta right but basically in a nutshell the idea is that attention is a mechanism by which you can pinpoint that look i want to give more weightage to this entity rather than this entity for you know deciding certain things right for example <coughs> let's say language right and uh, let's say i uh, i saw the movie right yesterday and it was awesome okay and let's say the task is uh, movie review analysis sentiment analysis of movie reviews if you think of this uh, this one uh, this this uh, this review right you want to give more weightage to the term awesome right and less weightage to terms like i saw these are generic words right the term awesome plays an important role in the in 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 deciding whether this is a positive review or the negative review right let's say another example let's say uh, you know uh, uh, say i mean you, you take any example let's say missing translation right you translate one uh, lang- sentence from one language to another language right sometimes you want to you you want to give more emphasis to certain phrases or certain words right which may you know may um, bring uh, additional importance to the task here also in case of graphs right a graph stage or gcn normal gcn paradigm when you aggregate right so so, so far how we have uh, how we have been aggregating so if you remember the equation h v k is uh, sigmoid let's say gcn wk summation of h u right u is the neighbor of v <coughs> k minus 1 in v plus bk h v k minus 1 okay if you think of this aggregation operation right this is essentially mean and the weight of every component is 1 by nv right should be mod because it's a set okay and this 1 by nv is the weight for every neighbor so what you are saying is that for this neighbor right when i basically take the messages from neighbors all those messages are e- equally important right so but sometimes what happens is that some messages are more important than other messages right for example this this sentence right this word is more important than other other words for some task for example so you also want to give weight corresponding to the ages through which these nodes are these, these messages are coming in okay you may say that okay let's use the weight of the age if the weight of the age is available let's use it for aggregating messages right rather than learning the weight right let's say this this the weight this is a weighted graph and let's say the weight is w1 w2 w3 three weights so this would be uh, for for this one w1 by w1 w2 w3 times this one plus w2 by W one, W two, W three times this one, and so on and so forth. But for an unweighted graph, how do you get this one? Right. A second point is that remember this weight was created, weight was assigned based on certain objective. Right. Let's say the the I mean the objective was let's say the weight was derived based on the number of interactions. Right. But let's say The, the 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 task is uh, you know fraud versus genuine node classification 
So, these weights may not be the desired weights for this task. So, you, you may want to learn the weights depending upon the tasks, right? You want to give more attention to say this neighbor rather than this neighbors or this neighbors, right? So, therefore, we will introduce another uh, component which is alpha, right? Now, this alpha is the weight, it is also called attention, right, which we will learn, okay. If you are not aware of what is attention, you should look at this seminal paper attention, uh, attention, uh, you know, the, 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 the seminal paper by uh, Vasfani, uh, right, uh, by, by Google Brain uh, on, on attention network, right, attention network, it was introduced mostly for languages but then people basically started using it for other uh, task. So, the, the name is attention, attention um, is all you need. This is the famous paper by Vasfani, Google Brain 2017, if I not mistaken. <laughs> So, <clears throat> let us look at graph, uh, you know, attention network, okay. So, what is the idea here? The idea here is that we, we essentially, you know, um, learn the attention weight, right, uh, alpha uv, okay, <clears throat> alpha uv let us say this is V, the node for which you want to get the embedding and this is one of its neighbors U, right. And this age weight is alpha UV that you want to learn, this is attention, right. So, this we will learn through, through the embeddings of V and embeddings of U, right. Let us assume that let us let us uh, denote another uh, variable E u v right. Now, E u v is basically you know it is, it is basically <coughs> a function f of h of u k minus 1 and h of v k minus 1. <laughs> right and of course weights say w w k this function is something that we will discuss okay you can take a set of functions okay but this function will so, so what this what this basically does it takes the embedding of this node and embedding of this node at the previous timestamp k minus 1 pass it through this w k which we also want to learn right and generate some number which is E u v right. Now, from E u v then you derive your alpha. So, now remember for v you have E u v here, you also have say this is the, uh, this is uh, say m E v m here, this is n E v n here. The alpha u v would be you just you know take this thing you pass it through so soft max it would be exponential of e u v by by uh, you know uh, sum of exponential of e u x right where x is the neighbor of v right in this case this would be exp of e u v plus exp of e v n plus exp of e v m okay now sigmoid uh, you when you pass it to sort max it always guarantees that it ranges between 0 to 1 okay and this is your alpha all right. So, you may wonder what types of functions we can use here, you can use many things. For example, you can use dot products, right, 
or in fact you can use the neural network here right what you say is that okay i have right neurons okay this would be h of u k minus 1 this would be h of uh, v k minus 1 pass it to a neural uh, neural network and let it produce something right so the, this the, this is also parameterized the, this the, the weight of the neuron will also be learned through back propagation right <coughs> and uh, i mean you can use whole bunch of things right i mean you can play with whole bunch of things here and accordingly you generate number you pass it through softmax and that will produce something and this alpha right this alpha will later be used right here as you see here okay in this part right so then your uh, um, hidden state at k for node v would be sigmoid of w k right um, this one alpha right okay uh, k minus 1 w k minus 1 whatever i mean i mean you just you can ignore this part you can just say that okay this is h of u k minus 1 this is normal aggregation right and now this is the weighted weighted part earlier it was 1 by n v just right and then you have another part here which i'm interested to be b right okay so now this is graph uh, attention network right in fact uh, if you look at the literature these days there is this famous uh, architecture called transformer which is also introduced uh, i mean in this paper uh, attention is what you need right uh, the transformer transformer model was was proposed for mostly for languages and later then and, and, and after that people also used this for graph for uh, you know for vision related issue uh, problems images and computer vision problems in fact you you can also you may also ha have heard of something called graph transformer network right and this, this field is ever evolving so i mean whenever you you, you look at uh, re recent papers published in say new reefs icml iclr right kdd uh, this kind of venues you always see you know multiple papers on graph uh, neural network in general okay so in short what i can say is that this area is the is the cutting edge area and it is evolving so fast that even a single lecture won't be able to cover up everything so i suggest that uh, instead of just focusing on uh, a few papers on you know, right uh, existing blogs and so on you just keep track of the papers published in uh, graph uh, learning venues uh, deep learning ml kind of uh, venues particularly new reefs icml iclr right cgkdd dub 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 okay um triple ai these venues you will see a lot of uh, you know fundamental approaches of uh, for graph neural network and also lots of applications for uh, you know different uh, different applications using graph neural network in general okay so with this i stop here and this brings us to the end of this chapter so and i think this has been one of the longest chapters so far right uh, so you have learned we have learned plenty of things right from um, traditional approaches for graph learning matrix factorization based approaches then we moved into uh, random walk based approaches then we understood the problems of random walk based approaches particularly in the inductive versus transductive setup and then we looked at a few examples of uh, graph uh, neural networks right so we stop here and the next chapter which is going to the last chapter uh, there we will discuss uh, different applications of uh, i mean uh, graph graph learning in general whatever we have discussed so far 
particularly we will see the applications of graph neural network. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.